find being surprised again and again on web with things that are just really clever and, and smart and and I want to send them to people, you know. There was an ad I got from my sister um, in Australia who works works in advertising and she um, sent me this piece that had originally come from here. We didn't get it here, it kind of, it kind of came back to us from Australia and I was like, I can't believe we missed it, but it was a JC Penny ad around Valentine's Day and it was about men in the doghouse, like men being put out um, in the doghouse for giving their wife a vacuum cleaner or a set of shears. A vacuum cleaner? Get in there. And they get what? put out in the doghouse. When they get put in this doghouse, they drop through to this very fight club type, you know, world where they have to survive with other men that are in the doghouse. It was four or five minutes. Hey, dual bag. All I did was tell my wife that her mom looked hot in a bathing suit. It was a compliment. I was just trying to be nice. That's bull. She was smoking. And I watched every minute, and I watched it probably three times, and I'm, I was really impressed with this story and how clever it was, and I sent it to a bunch of people, and that couldn't survive on television, and it could only survive on the web. See, a lot of guys end up in here during the holidays because they give their wives thoughtless gifts, like a vacuum cleaner. I got my wife extra RAM memory for her computer as a gift. I even attached a note that said, thank you for the memories. It didn't go down very well. You did help with the cooking. That's Oscar. He's been here so long, he's plain lost his mind. Legend has it he gave his wife a mustache wax during the holidays. What is that on your lip? And I think that there's there's a lot more opportunities for people to be smarter about, just don't insult me. Like, if you don't insult me and you, and you give me a little laugh as well, um, I will pass on this stuff. And I think that's what's going to happen with a lot of it. I did this story seminar with uh, afters back in Australia when I was young and I remember uh, someone telling me there's 13 stories, that's it, that's all you got. And I just was so angry about that. I fought that whole course to come up with the 14th story. And, and I didn't and it doesn't exist. And the reality is once you settle down into that, you realise there are any certain amount of stories we can tell. So. Um, I think that all, all that happens is year after year is that we find new things to come into the story, new things that relate to different groups of people and, and it's, I, I guess it's just got to be about what's going on now um, or finding something that happened in the past that can help us understand what's going on now. But as far as actually coming up with original ideas, um, I think all we can come up with is original craft, original ways of telling the same stories. But I don't, I really don't think there are that many stories out there. At the moment in, in America, I think the most interesting, best talent, best storytelling, best acting is happening in television. And we've, we've really kind of given up on film. It's become Tent poles, and I'm not knocking tent poles. I was, I was as gleeful as anyone uh, with, uh, you know, Batman and and some big things last year, Iron Man. I love that stuff, and I, I accept that they should cost two or three hundred million dollars because I see it on screen. That's that you see it there, you know. But um, it's happened at the expense of the middle of the market. Like there's really only one or two million dollar films now, and hundred, two hundred million dollar films, and that middle of the market where you used to be able to make intelligent stuff for 30, 40 million dollars is, is really being squeezed out. And where those people that are thinkers and smart writers, they go into television because you've got like, you know, 13 hours to tell your story every year. It's, it makes more sense for people that are craftsmen that want to tell really good stories. And I think things like, you know, like Sopranos was a peak, but at the moment I think Mad Men um, is, is just brilliant. It's just as good experience that I've ever had in the cinema and I'm having it in my home and I think that that's going to happen more and more and television is really where some of the most talented people are heading and and on, on all levels actors writers directors everyone's heading there